The mental problem is still there. The mental problem of not being able to stop yourself from eating is still there. What is up YouTube? Today I wanted to dive into a uh, post that I saw on Greg Doucette's subreddit yesterday and you know it really highlights um, Greg Doucette's lack of understanding of eating disorders and now I've said in the past I, I'm i not a big fan of Greg Doucette as you may be able to tell if you've seen other videos I've made of him however I do think he has a place I think that people mentally stable people who don't have eating disorders can follow his advice and they can get great results but I think that he discounts uh, you know he just discounts eating disorders and I just I just feel like it's misguided he just doesn't understand the magnitude of an eating disorder he doesn't understand the pain and suffering that these people go through and it's truly uh, I don't want to say sad because it's it's like like when I was younger Somebody who had a drug addiction, I could not understand it, right? I could not understand why somebody would have a drug addiction. Just stop doing the drugs. It's, that, it's like that easy, right? Then I got an eating disorder when I was around 16 years old. And I started to realize, you know, man, these people with drug addictions, they must have a problem. Like, like they can't, they physically can't get themselves to stop doing drugs. And it's kind of similar with eating disorder, be it anorexia, binge eating, bulimia, it's like you, you want to stop, but you can't. And now this specific post is talking about the relationships with uh, or with food, now with people that he likes to say. But let's be honest here, a lot of people with eating disorders trade their relationships with people for relationships with food. Be it if you're a binge eater, you stay home because you, you want to stay home because you know if you go to the party, you're going to binge eat at the party. Or you want to stay home so you can binge eat by yourself in, in solitude. Be it you have anorexia and you don't want to go out because you're afraid to eat. You're afraid to gain weight. So you're afraid that somebody's going to make you eat something that's going to cause you to gain weight. Or if you're bulimic, maybe you do go out with your friends. But then you, you eat the food and a couple uh, minutes later you're in the bathroom putting your finger down your throat and throwing the food up. So you can have a relationship with food, especially with an eating disorder. So anyway, the post is just relationships are with people, a uh, moron, so somebody made some art. Um, good on whoever made this art, it's actually pretty good, I can't argue, like I'm not a good artist at all, so whatever's good to me, I don't know if it's good to somebody who's good at art, but this is good to me. But now I uh, just wanted to go through the comments because I feel like a lot of people in these comments uh, agree with me. So the first thread is your relationship with everything, beautiful. I feel like he delegitimizes people with eating disorders every time he says this. You can't just ignore a problem. I agree. And I feel like that's what exactly what he does. He just ignores the problem, especially with people with binge eating disorder. Now, he never really talks about people with anorexia or people with uh, bulimia. And I guess this is because he doesn't have experience with those. And but he does have experience uh, with binge eating, and he said that he's binge ate in the past. So his solution to binge eating, as I've said before in other videos, is just to eat a lot of volume food with low calories, so you don't gain weight. But guess what? The mental problem is still there. The mental problem of not being able to stop yourself from eating is still there. Anyway, he's not talking to those people to change your mind. He's venting to a friendly audience who agrees with him. I don't know what that means. I mean, yeah, I guess. All the, t all the while saying stuff like, once I start eating cereal, I'll eat the whole box. Greg is contradicting himself all the time. Exactly. He says this all the time. That that he can't have cereal in the house because it's a trigger food. And if he starts eating a little bit of cereal, he has to eat the whole box. I'm sorry, Greg. That's an eating disorder. That is an eating disorder. You have binge eating disorder. And it comes from the fact that Greg Doucette stays extremely lean all year round he's gonna tell you that nine percent isn't lean but he has feathered quads feathered quads all year that is lean very very lean and it's kind of an eating disorder in itself just to stay that lean all year round just to maintain a look just to maintain a look for social media and it's true like if you can't stop yourself from eating cereal 
once you start eating the cereal, then that is an eating disorder in itself. That's completely binging disorder. And solving that problem by not buying the cereal and just eating more vegetables to fill your stomach, like that seems to me like a coping mechanism to avoid the deleterious effects of weight gain from binge eating, but not to, you know, fix your mind. And then the last comment on the thread, yeah, I pretty much just ignore him on this issue. He's so far off base from where I am at, on this issue that there are other people whose opinions on topics are more worthwhile. It's true. You know, it's true. I, I wish that this, con that this thread had more comments on it, but I just think that a lot of people that follow Greg don't understand the magnitude of eating disorders. And, you know, this is exemplified in the fact that he went after Stephanie Buttermore last year. Granted, Stephanie Buttermore was basically just posting her videos to make herself feel better about her weight gain and feel better about her body. However, she has the complete right to do so. And she has the right to do so without somebody who doesn't understand anything about eating disorders coming after them. Eating disorders ruin you. They make your mind, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, first of all, you're always hungry if like at least when I had it, I was always hungry. All I could think about was food. There's nothing else I could focus on. There's nothing else I could do. School, what the f like? What am I gonna do at school? I couldn't even. I couldn't even focus on on my my test. Uh, I was just thinking about my next meal because I was so hungry, right? Every most people with a binge eating disorder, or anorexia, or bulimia, food is their number one thought. And if food is your number one thought, you don't have energy for anything else. So you do have a relationship with food. Because, guess what? If that's your number one thought, then there's something wrong. And that means that it's your only, like, how do I explain it? That's your, that's your biggest relationship. That's your biggest relationship. So, you know, I really hope that Greg II can change his stance on this particular topic. Because it's so harmful. And I think that the people that follow him that don't understand these uh, things... They just continue to spit out the things that he says. Oh, you don't have a relationship with food. You have a relationship with people. Uh, if you're going to binge, you just binge on popcorn. You know, this is a terrible way to think. This is a terrible way to think. It's almost, I'm, it's not the same, but it kind of is. Like, let's say you take somebody that smokes cigarettes and you give them a jewel instead. Like, maybe their lungs will get a little bit better, but... How about you teach this person to stop smoking instead of having to cope by smoking an electric cigarette? That's just my thoughts on the topic. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Please think about subscribing. Leave your comments down below. What do you think about this issue? Do you think that Greg said delegitimizes people with eating disorders? Also, leave any video ideas down below in the comments. Thank you and have a good day.